Physicists discovered materials with the ability to flawlessly transmit electricity without resistance a little more than a century ago. They are known as superconductors. They did, however, require extremely low temperatures to function, so the search for one that could operate at room temperature began, with the goal of ushering in a new era of clean and abundant energy. That pursuit may have finally come to an end. Hello and welcome to Z, and today we're answering an astonishing question, have scientists discovered the holy grail of physics? Do you require answers to the major questions? Then why not subscribe to Z for more videos like this one, and ring the bell for more thought-provoking information. South Korean researchers claim to have discovered the first room temperature superconductor around the end of July 2023. It made international news for good cause. If the assertion is shown to be true, it has the potential to revolutionize the world. The paper at the center of the narrative is still being peer-reviewed as of this writing. As a result, it has not been officially published, and the outcome is still unknown. We'll get back to this later, but first, why could this discovery be so significant in the first place? Here are the fundamentals. The movement of charged electrons through materials produces electricity. This is referred to as electrical conduction. The conductivity of materials varies, and there is virtually always resistance to the flow of electrons. The inevitable collisions between ions and atoms within materials provide this resistance. It therefore provides a critical measure of how effective or ineffective any given content will be. At the same time, the passage of electrical charge causes magnetic fields to form in conductors. Electricity and magnetism are two components of the same phenomenon known as electromagnetic. So, while we know that all conductors have resistance and a magnetic field, Heike Kammerling Onis, a Dutch physicist, found a version in 1911 that had neither. When he measured the resistance of cryogenic mercury, he discovered that when held extremely close to absolute zero, the substance abruptly lost all resistance. This effect was dubbed superconductivity, and physicists have been fascinated by the idea of reproducing it at ordinary temperature ever since. If that is possible, we should theoretically have an ultra-efficient source of electricity. It has the potential to advance our civilization on its own. A significant deal of effort has gone into better understanding superconductors throughout the years. The Meissner effect, in which a superconductor expels its magnetic field, was the first major discovery. It was discovered in 1933 and has the physical feature of repelling any adjacent magnets, causing superconductors to levitate in the presence of a magnet. As a result, superconducting magnets are extremely powerful. They're composed of superconducting wire coils, but, at least till now, they can only work at cryogenic temperatures near to absolute zero. And because of this necessity, everything is incredibly expensive. Nonetheless, superconducting magnets have a wide range of technological applications, such as creating the stable magnetic fields required for MRI scanners in hospitals. It seems to reason that if the cost of significantly cooling these materials was no longer a consideration, superconductors would become a pervasive component of practically all elements of current technology. These are incredible materials. And, if they were inexpensive to obtain and maintain, it could be a huge development. For starters, the elimination of resistance would change national networks around the world. As a result, we may be able to transport energy across greater distances than ever before, perhaps allowing us to accomplish things like turn the Sahara Desert into one gigantic solar panel. Superconductors may also be important in the fight against climate change, clearly providing assistance in reaching net zero emissions globally. More specifically, and thanks to the Meissner effect in particular, they could make trains fly. Incorporating superconducting magnets into public transit might enable extremely low-cost, high-speed transportation worldwide. Trains that do not run on regular tracks. 
Superconductors should also dramatically improve the efficiency of all electric vehicles, potentially rendering all fossil fuel-powered transportation obsolete and relegating gas automobiles to the status of slow and inefficient relics. At the moment, most top-tier transportation techniques have one main drawback, friction. A rail, automobile, or bus can only travel so quickly until the wheels melt from friction. However, with this new technology, we could conceivably build superconducting roadways and magnetize vehicle undercarriages, allowing you to travel hundreds of miles per hour without friction or consuming a drop of gasoline. However, this is simply scraping the surface of the power that this technology has the potential to unlock for us. Room temperature superconductors would be so powerful and revolutionary that it would be hard to list all of their potential applications. That is why this discovery has been termed the holy grail of physics. So what precisely is the breakthrough? Returning to the recent paper, it was first filed by a team at the Quantum Energy Research Center in Seoul on July 22, 2023, with only three authors. It claimed that LK99, a modified crystal of lead apatite, exhibited superconductivity at temperatures of up to 400 Kelvin, or 260 degrees Fahrenheit, 127 degrees Celsius. This is well above ambient temperature, and the article says that it can be manufactured in just a few days using standard lab equipment. Naturally, quite a fuss has been created, especially since South Korea already has a reputation for conducting some of the top materials science research in the world. However, several experts are also recommending caution. Immediately, researchers from all around the world began attempting to reproduce the paper's findings. If it was actually as simple to make as stated, this should not have been a problem. However, as at the time of publishing this video, there is no clear consensus on whether it is truly replicable. Some labs are said to have made it, while others have not. The most fascinating follow-up comes from researchers at China's Huazhong University who claim to have duplicated the results, determining that LK99 does indeed display the Meissner effect and even sharing a video of it doing so. However, continued use of the scientific method is essential. Just assuming replication isn't enough. In general, we still don't comprehend the underlying physics and chemistry. For example, it's possible that what we're seeing isn't superconductivity at work, but rather unusual magnetism or some other undiscovered consequence. According to sources, numerous other independent teams are vying for replication. At least three have completely failed. Three more claim partial success. The remaining results are presently undeclared. However, at the time of writing, none of the independents had been peer-reviewed. Meanwhile, further questions have been raised about the original paper. It is mostly attributed to three researchers, the majority of whom had almost no prior publications and little to no evidence of past research. The paper also looks to have been rushed, and many academics have questioned the data. A follow-up study by the same team was produced less than a week after the first paper, with one of the names on the initial manuscript removed and four additional contributing authors added. This has led to internet conjecture that the first work was rushed out solely for the purpose of winning the Nobel Prize, which can only be shared by three people. It may also indicate a quarrel inside the team, as it was also alleged that one member published the original work without consent from the rest. If correct, this could explain the data's apparent patchiness. Nonetheless, while there have been concerns expressed regarding the possibility of scientific fraud, many people believe that the discoveries, if they were rushed out, were done so because those behind them are completely sure in what they've discovered, true room temperature superconductors. For the time being, we'll just sit back and see where this finding takes us. This is not the first time that such assertions have been made. There have been numerous cases of papers doing so in the past, only to be discredited and retracted. However, in the century or so since its discovery, we have come a long way toward discovering this physics holy grail. Will LK99 out to be the hidden treasure that many believe it to be? 
With the elegance of the scientific process leading the way, perhaps resistance-free power and even levitating trains could be possible one day. What are your thoughts? Is there anything we left out? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on our latest content.